Hi and welcome to this video. The focus of this video is assessment. I think it's a good idea to have a working definition of what assessment means in the context of design and teaching a course, so let's start there. At its core, assessment is measurement. Assessment exists in many different forms. You can assess or measure just about anything. What we're concerned with is measuring learning which is a massive challenge. Learning has no height, width, mass, electrical charge, or physical presence, and yet measuring it successfully is critical not only to the success of your course, but to the success of your students beyond the classroom. So why assess? Assessments generate proof or evidence that our students are learning what we intend for them to learn as well as we believe they need to learn it. Your goal is to craft an assessment strategy appropriate for the learners. Each student or group of students has unique characteristics. Good assessments are constructed based on what works for the students who will be assessed. The assessment needs to be appropriate to the material or subject being taught. Some content is best assessed in one way, while other content is best assessed in other ways. You would probably not assess students' abilities to write algorithms using an essay exam, for example. Assessment is a critical aspect of teaching and learning, so it makes sense to customize the assessments to the material. Just as important as matching the assessment to the student is matching the assessment to the teacher. Why? If you as an instructor do not have the skills, training, experience, or inclination to use a particular assessment, it is unlikely you will be effective in putting that method to use. Finally, it is important to match the assessment with the delivery method. Discussion is an effective online assessment, but is problematic face-to-face. -face. Conversely, objective exams can be effective face-to-face, -face, but have much less value online. The real secret to creating an effective assessment strategy is customization. The key is to design one that helps you ensure that you are evaluating students' achievement of the course objectives you defined for them. One step in designing an effective assessment strategy is to think about the different categories of assessments. All assessments fall into two categories, formative or summative. Formative assessments have a primary goal of improving the depth and quality of student learning, not to provide final evidence of learning or yielding grades. You will use these assessments to inform your teaching and to provide feedback to the students. Students will use these assessments to inform their own view of their mastery and understanding of the subject matter. Some examples of formative assessments include instructor-student conferences, observations, question and answer sessions, first drafts, self-check quizzes, and journal entries. A summative assessment has a primary goal of providing proof of learning and assigning a grade or defining the level of knowledge a student has attained. You will use these types of assessments to decide if the student has achieved mastery of the course material. Students will use these assessments to judge whether they are capable of continuing in the field of study or similar high-level decisions. These assessments generally do not offer opportunities for revision or improvement. Some examples of summative assessments include chapter or unit tests, midterm, final exams, projects, final copies, performances, as you design your assessment strategy, be sure to build in formative assessments at regular intervals. This will help you and the students gauge their learning and will help you evaluate your instruction. It will also help students perform better on higher stakes, less frequent summative assessments. Finally, as you design individual assessments, be sure to ensure that they align with the stated learning objectives and instructional materials. For example, if the stated learning outcome is that the students will be able to debate advantages and disadvantages of a policy, obvious assessments would involve having the students debate a policy, either orally or in writing. 
This concludes this video on assessment. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to post a comment. And thanks for watching.